Hi, so my name's Sam Virtue and I'm a senior postdoc working in the Institute of uh, Metabolic Sciences at the University of Cambridge. And so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you one of the pieces of equipment we use in order to study diabetes and obesity and this machine is a mass spectrometer. And what a mass spectrometer is, is it's a very fancy weighing machine and we use it because it's so good at weighing things it can tell us what different types of molecules we have in our blood. The ones we're particularly interested in in our research are fats. We know that different kinds of fats can be good for us and other kinds of fats can be bad for us. We may have heard of saturated fats which are bad for us and unsaturated or polyunsaturated fats that are good for us. We use this machine to measure how much of the saturated bad fats and the good polyunsaturated fats we have in our blood and even in our tissues like our fat tissue or our liver tissue. But how do we actually measure how much of the different kinds of fats we have in our bodies? And one of the ways we can do this is using this machine here. You may be familiar with weighing things and using weighing scales and if you use your scales at home maybe they'll weigh to the nearest gram or 0.1 of gram. We have very fancy weighing scales in the lab which can weigh to a thousandth of a gram. A mass spectrometer is in fact just a really fancy weighing scale. A mass spectrometer can weigh a billionth of a billionth of a billionth of a gram. And this kind of precision can enable us to tell exactly what different kinds of fat we have. In order to do it, what we do is we take a tissue or some blood that we're interested in measuring and we extract all the fat from it and then we modify it chemically and we inject it into our mass spectrometer and then the mass spectrometer will measure how much of the different kinds of fats we are. So I'm going to show you now um, the mass spectrometer in action and show you it injecting some fat.